Hey everybody, what's up? So in today's video, I'm going to be going over a quick little Final Cut Pro tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can uh, make custom export settings for Final Cut Pro and Final Cut Express using a uh, compressor. So if you guys don't know, compressor is a program that comes in the Final Cut Studio Suite with Final Cut Pro and all of the rest of those. And I believe if you're going for Final Cut Pro 10, there's a newer version of compressor called Compressor Version 4, which you can download from the Mac App Store for, I believe, a price of so 50 bucks. However, this is the uh, older version of Compressor, Compressor 3, which came with the Final Cut Pro 7 uh, Studio Suite. So right here what we're going to be talking about is we're going to be talking about making some custom export settings so that you can export them using Final Cut Pro. Now you don't necessarily have to do this if you're going to be exporting with Final Cut Pro. I personally don't use this that often. However, I figured since we have compressor here, why don't we try it out. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new preset by going down here to the plus button. And let's go ahead and choose for QuickTime Movie. And just so you guys know, over here, I have one here that says Final Cut Pro 7 H.264 for YouTube. That is the uh, preset that I made earlier. So we're going to go ahead and name this uh, preset. So let's do 720p H.264. And the description will be uh, HD for YouTube. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to make sure the file formats a QuickTime movie. It's going to be set to MOV. And we're going to click Settings. And then we're going to choose everything else. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to choose H.264. I'm going to set the uh, frame rate to 30 frames a second. And I normally restrict the bit rate to 8 thousand because I've always done that for my exporting and pretty much every video of mine you've seen has always been with a bit rate of 8,000 so that's just um, that's just because I normally do that and then for the audio I'm gonna choose AAC and uh, we'll choose that best and 256 you can use any settings you want to I'm just using this because uh, I don't know, I want to play around with some of the settings here. You can play around with the settings and customize them any way you want to. Some of the settings aren't for you. And then I'm going to go over here to uh, the Geometry tab, and I'm going to change the resolution to 1280 by 720 for 720p HD. And then we're going to click Save, and then it should be saved over here as 720 720p H264 and all, all that kind of good stuff. So now what we're going to do is let's open up a Final Cut Pro project. So let's go to Movies, and let's open up some of the stuff from my Doodle Cam review video. So let's open up this project. Uh, yes, uh, some of the files were offline. Uh, that's perfectly fine, because I'm not going to be exporting the entire video. I'm just going to be exporting a couple clips. So if you guys remember this video, Okay, so the application is called Doodle Cam. You can find it for... Okay, so that's pretty much the uh, review of Doodle Cam that I did quite a while ago. So I'm not going to export this entire video because some of the files were offline because I've deleted them. So let's just export this clip right here. So once you have the clip selected, or if you don't have anything selected, just select the entire timeline. But I'm just going to export this clip right here. And once you go ahead and get ready to export, go up to File. And then instead of the normal exporting and QuickTime movie settings, you want to go to Send To and then Compressor. And then, as you notice, it will open up with Compressor, and it should appear right in here. Let's just uh, grab the 720p for YouTube, and uh, let's try that again, because I don't know why it is doing that. So let's go to Compressor. And then as you can see here, there's a little Final Cut Pro icon up here in Compressor. So what we want to do now is take our setting that we made, the 720p for each whatever, and drag it up here to the top. And then as you notice, our little video will appear in the timeline right here. And this is the only part of the video that we have. You can go ahead and change the file name right here. And for source, we're going to, we're going to right click, go to destination, and just choose desktop for now. You can choose your name or whatever. I'm not going to choose anything. And I think I already opened up a bunch of these right here, so my bad. But once we have that done, we're just going to click Submit. We're going to name it, do all of this other blah, 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 and then click Submit. And then as you notice down here, it'll be uh, submitting and it'll be exporting it and it'll just export it to our desktop. So it seems to be exporting uh, fairly quickly. Let's just wait for that to finish up. 
Okay, and now we're done. So as you can see down here, it's been submitted successfully. So now we can just go up and uh, quit compressor, uh, discard changes, and uh, I can go ahead and quit Final Cut Pro while we're at it. And so now as you can see here on the desktop, we have our movie file that I haven't named. And if we go ahead and uh, open it up with QuickTime, here we go. Okay, so the application is called DoodleCam. You can find it for free. And uh, basically that's it. So now what we want to do is uh, let's go ahead and check and see what the file size of this is. So 5.3 megabytes for that 720p clip. That's not that bad. Could be better, but not that bad. So anyway, that's it for the video, guys. Now I know there's a ton of different more settings that you could do with this. You could do a whole bunch of different formats and all of that other kind of stuff. I was just doing this right now to test it out and get a feel for how exporting with compressor works. You could always go and just export using QuickTime conversion with the older versions of Final Cut, but I believe that if you're using the newer version of Final Cut, that com using compressor is going to be the uh, best option for you. But anyway, this has just been a little quick tutorial about how to use Final Cut Pro 7 to export with compressor. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.